Hello, my name is Mars, and welcome back to Shadows Over Loathing. We ended off last time just before bed, because I'm sure there's going to be a, a spooky dream. Can we tickle our tentacle, our tentacle buddy? Yes. Oh, he's so happy. All right. Sleepy time. You had a big day. You woke up, you started college, you finished college. Dream time. Yet another fitful dream. How can you sleep when your bed is floating? You'll always look back fondly on your afternoon at college. Let's see what's floating by. What's what's that? I don't recognize that. I just see mutton and rocks, a banana, and robots. It's uh su it's tailored to the things that I did in my um which courses I chose. I chose robots and rocks and cooking, so. That's nice. All right, who are these people? Oh, they're me. Three statues of you, each whispering. I didn't recognize them because I'm so used to my face smiling. The whispering drifts in and out and mixes together, making it hard to understand. All I got, all I ever, all I'm doing. Brawn, steady, bluffing. Shut one of them up. Um, let's see, which one should I... The smug looking one, that's the one that looks like me. Um, shut up the scowling one. Now you can hear the others. Pep talk. You've given yourself a pep talk and convinced yourself that you can tackle your current problems with style and expertise. Sucker. Oh. Well, I guess that's good. So I guess the smug one, like the, the scowling one was muscle, the smug one was mysticality, I guess, and the one with the shades was moxie. Okay. So it gave me boost in the two I didn't choose. Well, I probably should have boosted muscle, all things considered, because that's the build I'm going for, but, you know, it's actually pretty good that I balanced out the others. This dream has a horrible hole in it. Oh god, I'm the, I'm the dean of students. My research wasn't thorough enough. What did you do, you idiot? General bruise. I couldn't get near the place. Will the barrier hold without me? Okay, so I'm guessing that, that Dean Wormwood is part of the same conspiracy that I think that first woman was the president who General Bruce was talking to in my last stream, and then General Bruce, and Dean Wormwood is caught up in the same conspiracy that they are. Perhaps through this there is an ending. One can hope. Ooh, cheese. Dory back to the waking world. Step through. Not that involved a dream, all things considered. All right. Let's start our day with our morning routine. Get myself some stink armor. Fight it. Increase my melee weapon damage. I have a new hot plate, so we can make some foods. Let's see. Um, hold on. Let's see. Which do I have? Glowing ooze. Four handfuls of stylus gel. Um, I'll make one of these. Um, powerful grits. And I have. I want to keep some crafting items around. With enough butter, anything is edible. The economy isn't what it used to be, so sometimes boiled shellac has to make do with candy. Stop cooking. All right. Jessica, what do you have for me? Vivian, thank God you're finally awake. I am? If you say so, what's eating you? I'm at my wit's end. Charles Wallace has gone missing. Really? Where did he go? He wouldn't be missing if I knew that. She closes her eyes and takes a deep breath. Okay, okay, I'm panicking. Come on, Jessica, don't panic. I do know where he went before he went missing. What happened? We were having trouble getting the Detectatron to focus on the next artifact. All we could get was the big moist. The big moist? It's a swamp north of Porkham. 
and I'm pretty sure that the entire swamp is not the cursed artifact in question. Charles went out there yesterday afternoon to see if a downed power line or something was causing interference. Huh, and he hasn't come back yet? No, no he hasn't. Maybe I should go looking for him. Are you trying to drive me crazy? Come on, get a wiggle on for crying out loud. Charles could have been eating my gator men by now. Okay. We were, um... Pretty... Pretty, uh... Realistically... Set in the... Northeastern United States before. Now there's a swamp involved. That feels a little more... Deep South. So, I don't know what's happening now. This sponge, you are assured, will act as an effective map of the moist lands. Is this map a slice of Swiss cheese? It's a sponge. Which deli have you been going to? A sponge is definitely not a map. You're going to a swamp. It's soft, damp, and it has holes in it. What do you want from me? All right, okay. Did you say something about gator men? Gator men, you know. I don't, which seems like a good thing. The Big Moist is home to a tribe of nasty and belligerent half-people, half-alligators. They don't take kindly to intruders, such as, for example, Charles Wallace. Or me, presumably. Are you chickening out on me now, when a friend's life is possibly at stake? I don't think sunk cost fallacy applies here. Like... The sunk cost here is your friend, so no. I'm going, I'm going. Alright, I don't have any messages. Um... Alright. Let's take a look at our new perk. Plus one mystically and moxie. Okay, so now I'm pretty much even on everything. Alright, so I better decide what foods and the foods and potions I want. I think Alright, let's see. Muscle by one, max HP by five, mysticality and moxie, muscle and mysticality, muscle and moxie. Okay. Well, I think I'm gonna eat one of my mushroom steaks. Nice, I got a lot of HP. Um, for my potion, I know what I'm gonna do for the potion. I thought about this before, before I started recording. I'm gonna drink the Forbidden Fission Soda. What's this one do? Moxie? Nah. I... I have so much physical armor, but I have been beating, getting beat the hell out by any enemy with damage other than physical. I know I have this bottle cap ring on me now, which should reduce any damage I take, but... I don't know. Just to be super safe, I'm gonna increase all of my elemental armors. And the next thing I need to do is go to the purple door. Oh, hey. It's two of the frat guys you helped out earlier. The guy who was looking for mesquite chips and the guy who lost his jacket. Oh, heck yeah, bro. If you've got problems beating the cold, q is the hobby for you. Wait, did I say hobby? I meant lifestyle. Standing next to a warm, comforting fire does sound pretty good. Right, bro? Plus, while you're standing there, you can be queuing up some bergs or weenies or whatevs. It's win-win. Gosh. You bask in the warm glow of, your, of their conversation. Aw, oh, that's nice. So, those were kind of lame side quests on their own, but I'm really glad that they came up with this uh, little uh, conclusion to them. Alright, I got my profits. Alright, this is what I wanted. I want to drink the absinthe. Oh! Oh, I can put mixers in it. That's what the colon, simple syrup, and vermouth are. Um, I mean, why would I not take the simple syrup? Absinthe and simple syrup, sounds great. Cocktailed, you've had a cocktail. Nice. I'm sure that absinthe and simple syrup is disgusting. Okay. Oh, okay, I wanna look at the shops. Oh my goodness, lady. Laboratory bench. Can I use this lab bench? Sure, help yourself. Just be careful not to blow anything up. I reserve the right to do all the blowing up of stuff in here myself. Any basic potions I should use? Nah. 
Hi, I'm Vivian. Is this your shock? Why, yes, it certainly is. My name's Janice. Janice Chemiker. Didn't you just move in? Why is it all blown up in here? Well, I always say it isn't real chemistry if you don't blow everything up and catch your hair on fire a couple of times. So I like to get it out of the way early. What have you got for sale? Oh, these are real fancy chemicals. Um... Oh, miscellaneous chemicals, that's the... That can improve my the potions that I craft. I'll buy a couple of those. Um, boxing solution, yeah. I don't really want any of these other ones, although... Max HP, AP could be good, but I don't know. Let's see, what fancy potions can I make? Um... Man, if these were muscle and, uh, muscle and melee attack, I would take them for sure, but, um, sure, and, I mean, I have so much stylus gel, I might as well, okay, let's make small talk with this lady, how's the new store? It's okay so far. In an ideal world, I'd have some crayons or colored pencils for you to play with. Huh? I'm not a child. Adults like to draw too. Some of my favorite artists are adults. Um, the styptic pencil is a combat item. I don't want to give that to her, but I'll give her the pencil. Would your customers use this pencil? Oh yes. I know it might seem silly to you, but I have such fun memories of going down to the chemical store as a child. I'd sit and draw pictures for hours. Can I draw something with the pencil? Hmm, but you're my pencil supplier. Wouldn't that be a conflict of interest? Okay, she bought my pencil, sure. Any new jewelry? Alright, elaborate earrings, mysticality, and moxie. Ring of intensive caring. Heals you and your allies for one HP every round. Spooky and sleaze armor. Ooh, let's see. What accessory am I wearing right now? Okay, I want to take that off. I was going for the gauze ascot. Yeah. Sorry, I left I let I left the basement door open so that the the cats could explore and they're exploring and making a lot of noise. Um I think I'm good on that. Um don't think I want any of these. I mean, Ring of Intensive Caring. No, 1 HP, that's that's baby time. So, does the surplus store have anything new? Um, trench Pants, plus 3 physical armor. Cola Wars Metal, gain 5 extra at a, 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 uh, XP from fights. There's so many P's. So many kinds of P. Nah. Truncheons and bludgeons. Anything new? Croquet mallet, ice axe, shillelagh, tenderizing hammer, William Club. I do like having the bleed. Alright. I think I still have things that increase damage, so yeah. Yes, I'm going to Hefty antique mace. Nice. They really knew how to make things heavy back then. I made it heavy. What are you talking about? Alright. I... There's a lot of morning prep to do. As the two of you are walking down the street, Molly suddenly stops and gestures at a nearby gun shop. Oh hey, I know this bulldogger. Hang on a second. You want to go shopping? Nah, I just want to get my typewriter quick tune-up. The sight in it is kind of hanky. Cut yourself a piece of cake. I'll be right back. You don't see any cake around here, disappointingly. But Molly returns presently with a freshly polished Tommy gun and a cheerful grin. Now we're hitting on all sixes. Come on, kitty, let's get a wiggle on. I'm sure I thought Gabby was hard to understand. Okay. I'm going to warm up by this fire. Thank you. And before we leave Ocean City... 
I know that there were a few places with manholes underground. Hematic Icker, cool. This was one place, such place. Oh, there's a hole here. Close it. Bubble code. The code reads, emergency ring behind this brick. You pull out the brick and sure enough, there's a ring behind it. Ring of the raucous fracas. It's still a matter of debate whether God plays dice with the universe, but it's unambiguous that this ring does. Fights will be extremely chaotic. Uh, I think I'm pretty good for now. There's water here and you have a fishing rod. Surely these things can be used together. Nasty goo. Eau de toilette is the French idiom that in this case is being used as a literal phrase. Stench armor, nice. Flustulent grulch. Ooh, a fishman bar. This fishman is neither capable of nor interested in talking to you. A scaly, silent type. Um, ooh, a barrel of olives. Fancy Dan would love to have this if you could manage to sneak it out of here. Stuff it in your pocket. Barrel of olives. If this was a legitimate shop, you'd have just legitimately shoplifted. Overflowing font of pimento stuff glory. Either a fishy looking guy or a garlic looking fishy. Okay. Either way, it seems like he's getting an angry drunk on. Hey, uh, buddy, what's up? Who asked you? Bleh. He takes a couple of fishman eggs out of his pocket and lobs them at the bartender. Hey, give me another. Blur, blur. The bartender shoots him some side eye, although technically fishmen are always doing that, and brings over another bottle of something. Ask him about his weird head. He paused, trying to think of a more diplomatic way to phrase that. Say, uh, I couldn't help noticing. I ain't gonna take that from the likes of you, you and, and what are me? Glurb or hugger glurb. I ain't gotta take nothing from nobody. See, I know he's got fish eggs. And I want those fish eggs. I'm gonna fight them. Why, well, uh, or maybe a sewer is more your style, fish lips. He throws a haymaker at the double of you he sees standing slightly to your left. Unfortunately, this is all he needed to recalibrate. Uh oh. Um. Oh. I wanna switch back to. Oh wow. That was easy. Fishman Row and a nasty mug. Deals your mysticality and stench damage to an opponent and also poisons them for three. You won. The fishman bartender rolls his eyes, again, a common feature of fishman eyes, and drags the unconscious drunk out the door. I got Fishman Row and a nasty mug. Woo! Okay. Next, I want to go to. Um, does Zimmer's house have a manhole cover? You hear a banging noise and a hissing coming from the mouth of a nearby alley, and hesitantly check it out. It's probably fine, it's probably just one of those times where a cat jumps out of you and runs away, right? Unfortunately, what jumps out of you is two of those spooky shadow imps you saw at SIT before. They hiss and cackle at you, do an unpleasant little dance. Mental note, stop checking out noises in dark alleys. Oh, there's a lot of them. Okay, let's take a look. Um, boost all stats by three. Well, Molly, start out by doing your thing. I do love that sound they make. Yikes. Okay. Okay, we got rid of that one at least. Um, can I throw... At that one. Okay. They want to do a ton of damage. I'm concerned about you. Um, yes, I want to get rid of you. So... Yeah. 
Ouch. Poor Molly. Yeah. We got some heavy hitters on our team, at the very least. Oh, right, and you can heal me. Um... I need to throw a combat item. Actually, who are you going to attack? Me? Okay. I can take the damage. Man, I feel like we got to fight like a boss or something again one of these days. Okay. I don't remember if he had a manhole cover in his basement. Um. Oh, there's a pool of some thick black tar-like substance. Where did it come from? The only thing nearby is a shelf full of basement junk. <laughs> Leave the dust alone. Oh, I got a fuse. The top shelf has a old, few old tins of varnish and a big bucket of tar. As you watch, a drip of tar slowly leaks out of a hole in the bottom of the bucket and plops into the pile below. Ah, well, there you go. Mystery solved. Okay, no manhole covers. I know there was one at the church. Okay, I think we did that already. I'm not sure. go. Climb on down. Shadow pliers. What's this? An old stain, but a big one. Let's get fishing again. Fish in a sack. Fish in a sack. Eau de toilette. Looks like the fishermen have set up a little casino. Sure. The game seems to consist of throwing a handful of pebbles and rusty nails on the table. It's both very simple and very vague. Watch for a while. The player next to you puts some fishman eggs on the table. The group here picks up the pebbles and nails and hands them to the player, who shakes them up and scatters them across the table. The group here inspects the nails and pebbles, then shakes his head and picks up the player's eggs. The player grumbles wetly. Let's just try to get a hang of the game. You keep your eggs on the game, not entirely exactly sure what is going on. The fisherman gambler antes up some eggs again. Once again, the dealer gives the pebbles and nails to the other fishman, who then tosses them vigorously onto the table. The croupier looks at the nails and pebbles and shakes his head. The player makes an argumentative noise and points at one of the nails. The croupier sighs and peers at it closer, then shakes his head defiantly and takes the player's eggs. The player pouts. You continue to watch the action, some hoping to glean some understanding. The fisherman gambler antes up some eggs again. Then the dealer collects the nails and pebbles, hands them to the player, and waits as the player shakes them up and tosses them into the air. The croupier seems impressed. He nods at the player, who picks up one of the nails and tosses it again. The croupier adds a large pile of eggs to the player's bet, and the player grabs them with a burbling cry of joy and greed. Alright, let's try and place a bet. He puts some meat on the table. The croupier blinks at it, but doesn't object. He picks up the nails and pebbles and hands them to you. You shake them up and drop them on the table. They bounce and roll a little, but quickly come to rest. No, he takes my meat. You keep trying to understand how the game works. The fishman gambler antes up some eggs again. The dealer hands the pebbles and nails to the player, who kisses them and then sends them flying onto the table. The croupier nods at the player, who picks up one of the nails and carefully drops it again. He makes a satisfied glug as the croupier adds a few more eggs to his pile. Okay. Okay, let's try again. Um. <laughs> you carefully consider the arrangement of pebbles and nails and choose a nail to retoss. When the nail comes to rest, the croupier shrugs and pushes your meat back towards you. Looks like you got a tie or a push or whatever they call it. Oh yes, I finally got some row. You carefully consider the arrangement of pebbles and nails and choose a nail to retoss. 
But when the nail comes to rest, the creeper looks impressed. She adds a pile of fishman eggs to your meat and pushes them towards you. You won, apparently. Yay, spiffy. Oh, there are drinks here. He holds up a bottle of some kind of greenish-brown liquid that you assume is probably mostly kelp juice and sewer moss squeezings. Fishman concoction. Muscle and max AP. Ooh. A rinsed out tin can containing three fingers of liquid derived from stuff that grows in sewers. Which sounds gross, but how bad could it really be, right? Neat? Okay. I don't think there are any other basements around here. Less, I don't think there are any in Crystal Dream Lake either. So, I'm gonna head over here. I do remember the basement. I think this is the one I want. That's exercise, yeah. Party still going on? Ooh, grill is free, no. Head on down to the basement. I knew there was another manhole cover down here. A toolbox abandoned by some sewer worker in the distant past. A miniature blowtorch and an awl. Add plus one on fire to a weapon. Continue fishing. Oh, look at that stuff floating past. That's disgusting. Sort of grease. I really like the texture on this water, though. I don't know. I've been getting into drawing lately. I'm trying to get better at it because it's a skill I had in high school. Um, but I do not possess it any longer. But I've been watching a bunch of tutorials and I really like the doodly kind of way this water is textured. I don't know. It's cool. Oh, this is a fishman church. Oh, goodness. Oh. Is that the thing that turned the frat guys into stone? These fishmen are acting kind of strange. Well, stranger than usual. Well, as far as you can tell, given your limited experience with fishman behavior patterns. Maybe it has something to do with that weird altar over there. Oh boy. I was not prepared for this one, I don't think. Oh, and they're gonna heal it. Maybe you want to bash one of these guys. Okay. Okay, we, I don't think we want to let them buff the thing. Okay. First thing I always do. Um, let's see. Is this thing immune to poison at all? It is not. Alright. Oh, I can't use any more combat items this turn, though. That's fine. Um... Let's throw a rock. Okay, it's gonna buff it. I'm gonna throw a ball. Which won't kill it, but that's fine. And I'm gonna bash this thing and put some bleed on it. Okay. Poor Molly, okay. Got rid of that one. I, I do want to put Dee Dee, Dee Dee the snake back. Um, let's see, any combat items I can use? Five physical damage, ten sleaze damage, yes. Okay, it's got four. So. I throw a baseball and bap it. Yes, it will die this turn. Oh! He 
one. That's one triangle that won't be bothering any more fishmen. An offering bowl full of jiggly, glistening fishmen eggs. Blech. Okay. Um, let's see. All right. Ruby, you've been doing nice for me, but actually, what does this hex rock do? Hmm. I kind of want to try out the loyal hex rock. I don't know. I'll, I'll stick with Dee Dee for now. But what was I about to do? Yes, I switched there. All right. I don't have enough XP for anything. All right. Can I check back on these guys again? Okay. No, it's all still made of stone. All right. No. Okay. Well, I'm not sure how many handfuls of row Rufus needs. Oh, I got the eggs. Oh, great. Let me just process these and... Oh, whoops, I misplaced a decimal. I only needed 0.3 pounds of eggs. Well, now we've got plenty of the scoop. You can keep the extra eggs. Hooray. Ah, oh, River Bridge. Municip municipal contraption. Take it to River Bridge. This odd-shaped tool has City of Porkham stamped on it, leading you to wonder exactly why Rufus had it. <sighs> and now we just slather you with this foul-smelling jelly. Come back and see me if you need it reapplied. You have been covered in some goo that Rufus assures you is necessary. Okay, I think I want to go do his thing immediately then. And the rag. You suspect that this is just an ordinary rag, but you don't want to hurt Rufus' feelings by asking. Double hooray. Okay. Let's see. Alright. And that's in effect, I think? Yes, that's the goo. Alright. Well, I think that's a pretty good place to end off the episode. Let's see where the bridge is over there. Just so I know. Um, I have been Mars, and I'll be back with more Shadows Over Loathing.